the Kickoff Breakfast Show. Welcome back to the Kickoff Sports Breakfast Show on Beach FM 106.3. And let's talk bowls now. And let's welcome back to the show from the Kapiti Bowl Centre. It's Carol Knight. G'day, Carol. Yeah, good day, Damien. How are you today? I'm, I'm doing well, mate. How are you holding up? Oh, yes, yes. It's starting to look a bit like Boris Johnson, so I need a haircut. <laughs> like, I can't get one until the 25th of May, though, so I'll be really looking for ribbons before then. <laughs> oh, you and me both. Uh, my, my barber I've known since I was 13, and I can't see him for two weeks. And um, I yeah. e- even even called in the favours, and no, he won't see me. So <laughs> it is what yeah. it is. How's the bowls community been this week? Uh, a little bit of confusion around there, I think. Initially, uh, when um, Jacinda had mentioned that there was possibly going to be 100 people allowed, people were thinking, oh, yeah, that's cool. But then it came down on the Monday to only a limit of 10 people in a group. That changed things a wee bit, and we'd had some information out from Bowls New Zealand in respect of the 100. Well, that changed, of course, straight away with only a limit of 10 Um, They did form, the centre here did form a group of uh, one from each club to have a chat about how each club was handling it and we did that by by email. Uh, The smaller clubs like my own, well, um, we're just following the general rule which says if you really have concerns about it, stay shut. And that's, that's what we're doing anyway because we would have been shut. Uh, natural green clubs with only one green, no artificial greens. There's no bowls for them anyway. Um, and I think I mentioned last week that our uh, normally we play through the wind months. We might have people coming in and playing cards, right. but that's out because you can't get the spacing. No. So, uh, yeah, so we're shut, and, and I know a number of the others. Uh, uh, two or three of them... With the, um, that have the bar and have the artificial green or, or just have the bar and have indoor bowls through the winter months. That's sort of on hold at the moment because indoor bowls is is probably not going to work, yeah. not at the moment. And, um, yeah, the others, uh, of course, they've got to divide their greens uh, into five-metre rinks, so it means you'll only get six, six rinks there. You're not allowed to play any more than triples with four at one end and um, two at the other. And then, of course, there's the uh, restrictions in that I mentioned last week. You have to make sure that it's only one player on each team who's putting the mats and jacks, placing the, um, rolling the jack down. Yeah. They've all got to be disinfectant after each use. Um, no, no real access to the club rooms. But if you, have, oh yeah, well there is really because if you've got a bar there, they can go in and. and um, as long as they're seated, they've got the spacing and they've got someone who can come around and ask their orders, yeah. they might be able to go in and have um, have a cup uh, afterwards. I know it says that only one person is allowed to be in the kitchen and that person has to serve everyone. So there's all these restrictions and um, yeah. they're just going to have to do the best. This is what the centre's come out with. It seems that clubs are making uh, their own rules that are best suited for their, their club long as they do the contact tracing, uh, got everybody recorded who's been there, and the uh, spacing and the limits and bars are, really the bars are closed. Um, I noticed the Cosy Club here sent out a, a notification to say they would be open, but you have to have a meal. Right. So and you have to go in there to be seated. So I think that might be, uh, be a restriction on some of the clubs if they don't provide meals. You can't go in uh, just to have a drink, have Car- a cup of tea. That's about it. Carol, do you think there's still, because, you know, I talk to many sports and there seems to be uh, a little different strokes for different folks. Uh, does it seem that there's still a lot of confusion of what we can do in the coming weeks of Level 2? Absolutely. It is It is confusing. Um I know everybody wants to get back to competitions and having their tournaments, but this, this they changed the thing for tongues to 50 people. Have they changed that to the for the sports, or is that just for tongues and weddings to have the groups of 50? This is it. Uh, because groups of 50 could play the bowls. Groups of 50, we could have our AGMs. Mm. But groups of 10, you can't have your AGMs. And uh, with the bowls, if you have six on the rink, you're not allowed to go and play, say, say our team wins this game, so we're going to go over and play that team. You're not allowed to do that. You're not allowed to go and play with the, the team that's on the other rink. Yeah. 
yeah. you've only got to be associated with the with the teams that are on that rink you're playing on. So yeah, everybody's confused about it, and um, we just actually have to wait and see. And I think I think our centre office is getting a bit compu- confused as well. So I think it boils down to the latest Bowls New Zealand thing that came out and said, well, probably the best thing while we're restricted to ten people is to stay closed. If in doubt, stay shut. Yeah. Oh well. Yeah. Well. well I noticed the um, yeah. I I got a note from the Professional Bowlers Association. They're going to start Queen's Birthday weekend. Right. Now the Professional Bowlers Association they play outdoor indoor bowls. You know the um, on the uh, indoor turfs. They've got one at Paratoot and over at Heratonga, down in Dunedin, down in Invercargill, at the Waverley Club. So um, Frankton Railway Club in Hamilton's got an indoor. So. Um, that's going to start May the 30th at Frankton and Hamilton, the Hastings Club and the Waverley Club. And um, they're going to start their bowls, so that'll be interesting to see how they go. Definitely. Definitely. Well, I, I always appreciate your updates um, every week, Carol. Um, yeah, interesting time, mate. Hopefully we have some more clarification um, for next week, and uh, thank you for the updates. That's all right. I think it's it's May the 25th they're going to review this again. That's the day I get a haircut. Yay. <laughs> <laughs> and we'll be able to see what's happening then. Awesome. Well, we might give you the week off next week then, and uh, we'll catch up the, the week after with the, after those updates. Yeah, um, because at, at the moment it's just uh, bouncing around between instructions coming out and deciding what your club is doing. So there's not, not a great deal to uh, to report on. Well, I always appreciate what you do report, so you look after yourself and we'll catch up soon. Good. Thanks, Damien.